All right, everyone, welcome back. So we continue on in our trade deadline previews with the Washington Capitals today. So we're into that stretch where there's a few teams here in the Eastern Conference where more or less these next couple of days are going to determine what their trade deadline is going to look like. Because we're at the point where we're almost a little under two weeks out from the trade deadline. So more or less about 10 days or so until the deadline occurs. So we could see some teams start to heat up here as we head down the stretch. So Washington, as of right now, they are currently 26, 21, and 9 for 61 points. They are fifth overall in the Metropolitan Division. Uh, they, although they are in this spot, they do have a significant uh, difference between them and the Flyers and additionally to them and the Lightning and the Red Wings. So obviously it's not looking too good right now uh, for the Washington Capitals. Now, they do have $1 million in projected cap space, not current cap space, projected cap space. I would imagine though, if they try and buy off and send some guys to other teams, that number will go up. Um, so your UFAs and RFAs, it's a, it's a small list. They don't have a whole lot this year. They don't have a whole lot of guys that are expiring. I know there's some rumors of, oh, these players may get moved and such and such, but more or less, the majority of the old guard is going to expire the following year, not this year. You have Kuznetsov, Backstrom, and Oshi all expiring in 2025. And there's been talks of even Kuznetsov getting traded. Oshi's career might be over. Uh, Backstrom's career... Obviously, is coming to an end soon. So definitely, those are th those are three guys there that might get let go. Very big possibility that they might get let go next season. But regardless, your UFAs as of right now are Anthony Mantha, Max Pacioretty, Nicholas Abe, Kubel, and Joel Edmondson. So let's go through each name here. Anthony Mantha has not been a bad player for them. He really hasn't been. I believe he's fifth in scoring or fourth in scoring. He has 18 goals this season, which is not a bad number for a guy like him who is. You know, although his contract's not great, and it's not undeniable, undeniably, it's still a pretty solid, uh, wouldn't be a bad pickup there uh, if if a team wanted, per se, a, you know, a third liner. But his contract, obviously, isn't ideal, and it's not, it's going to stray a lot of teams away from picking up a guy like Mantha. Also, Pacioretty has been underperforming, uh, even though he's been injured. He only has one goal so far throughout the throughout the games he's played. Uh, definitely not the numbers you want to see. You want to see better numbers from him, but obviously still not uh, a good area there. Uh, Nicholas Abekubel, not a bad like fourth liner. Maybe this maybe a team picks him up for extra depth. He did win uh, Colorado a Stanley Cup as well, so he was a part of that team. Uh, and then Edmondson, he's injured, I believe, and is also a guy... Um, that is, you know, kind of not underwhelming there. He could get moved, very big possibility there, but not nothing nothing too out of the ordinary there. Uh, your RFAs, however, goes as follows. you got Connor McMichael, Matthew Phillips, Beck Malliston, and Rasmus Sandin. So you got McMichael, who's playing well. He's getting better. This year has been a much better year for him. He's 22 points. Uh, that's not bad numbers for a guy who's been kind of struggling to improve in the NHL a little bit here. So he's a part of that new youth core the Washington Capitals want to bring in, so I'd imagine they keep him. He signs. Um, Phillips, I don't know a whole lot about more or less a fourth liner. I'd imagine maybe they'll keep him on like a 750K deal or a two-way contract, something along those lines. Uh, Malliston isn't a bad defenseman, uh, is more or less one of those third-pairing guys that plays up there, so not expecting a whole lot from him. And then Sandine, again, another guy who isn't that bad of a defender either, so another good option there uh, for the Capitals to keep. But if they wanted to move him, I guess they could, but they're trying to keep the youth around, more or less. So what are your needs if you're Washington? Well, you probably want some youth. Probably what you need. Uh, you also maybe want some draft picks. You want some draft capital to really help out there. Um, but yeah, that's more or less what you need. Youth and draft picks is kind of what the Capitals are going for here. They want to really more or less try to, you know, improve the overall youth because this is still a pretty, relatively old team. So they want to bring the youth in while still being somewhat competitive in the standings, which is understandable, obviously. Your movable pieces, however, there isn't a whole lot. You got Max Pacioretty, who is a guy that I guess you could move, but are a lot of teams going to go out for him? Probably not with the way he's been playing and the way his contract is. I just can't see it. Uh, Mantha, maybe, 
But again, other teams are going to stray towards those cheaper contract options because if they want to move Mantha, they're probably going to have to retain salary. That's more or less what they're probably going to have to do if they want to move Mantha. And then Edmondson, too, is another guy that I think you could move. Uh, it's a possibility there if he's healthy. I don't know how much you get for a defenseman like him, uh, but he's a guy that maybe they could move. Uh, so, yeah, that's more or less all I have here for the Capitals. Uh, there isn't a whole lot here to talk about. Again, their stance isn't really too clear. I would imagine they want to they want to sell. I don't think they would buy to go into the playoffs. I doubt it. Even though there's been points where they look good, there's points where they don't look good. It, it just depends. Like there, It's like from week to week it changes. So, obviously, I'm looking forward to see uh, what this coming week is going to look like for the Capitals. I'm very intrigued to see that. Uh, but yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, hit that like button. And please subscribe down below. I really appreciate it. Uh, but anyways, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.